Ryder Lewis. As a kid, I had a really bad uh, Amazon addiction. Uh, I bought a lot of things all the time, mostly useless, really, just little things that I could spend my allowance on. And most of the time, I would spend my allowance right whenever I got it on Amazon, or sometimes even before I got it. Yeah, I know. And I mean, I was so good at it, my dad would come to me to order things. I would use his money but he would ask me to order his things for him. And it was on the browser, so I could just click on the icon and I could get to it whenever I wanted. I didn't know how to get, it, get to it any other way than that, basically. So one day, me and Macy were in a fight and she deleted it. And I got really mad about that because I thought it was gone forever, basically, because that's the only way I knew how to get to it. So after I thought that, my addiction was deleted. I punched her in the face. <laughs> yeah, I punched her in the face. And at the time, she had braces, and I broke one of her brackets. So, yeah. She had a lot of reasons to be mad at me about that, and she had no reason to forgive me. But she did forgive me, even though I didn't deserve it. That's the point of my lesson today. Forgiven people should forgive others. Jesus actually told a story about that in Matthew 18, verse 23. We'll be reading verse 23 through 35. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who, wishes, who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had in payment to be made. So the, first, so the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of the servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in, put him in prison until he should pay, pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then, then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also... So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. There are four lessons that we can learn from this story. Number one, we are all like the unmerciful servant because we all have a debt we cannot pay. The servant owed his master 10,000 talents. Our debt is the debt of our sin. He couldn't pay his and we can't pay ours. Number two, just like the master... Just like the master forgave his servant, God has forgiven our sins. In the story, it costed the master 10,000 talents, but it costed God a lot more to forgive us. It costed him the life, the death, and the blood of his son. Number three, just like the master in this story, God expects us to forgive because we have been forgiven. Listen to the question the master asked his unmerciful servant. You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me, and you should not and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant, as I had mercy on you? Everyone who has received pity, patience, mercy, and forgiveness should show pity, patience, mercy, and forgiveness to others. And that leads me to my final point. God will not forgive us if we don't forgive others. When I punched my sister in the face, I hurt her, but she forgave me even though I didn't deserve it. And when we sin, our, our sins hurt God. But thankfully, he is always willing to forgive us. But he expects, for, for, he, forget, he expects forgiven people to forgive others. I want you to think about somebody who said or did something that, that hurt you. That, yeah, something that hurt you. When you go home from camp, make sure to forgive them. And let them know that you, that you are forgiving them because God has forgiven you. Thank you.